Hey guys, what's going on? It's Nebris here. Welcome back to the channel, and today I'm going to be talking about something I talked about briefly on my Twitter and was touched on by a few other YouTubers, and that is the topic of Notch being removed from the Minecraft splash text, I guess you could call it, on the main menu. So when you load up the game of Minecraft, uh, there's basically a splash text that shows up whenever you go to the Minecraft screen. I'll put a screenshot on the screen right now of an example of that. Basically, he had a splash text on the main menu, and those were removed because, I believe, due to his opinions and political views which he expressed on Twitter and uh, you know Microsoft didn't want to be associated with that so they've removed most references to him in the game so I asked on Twitter was Notch removed from the Minecraft splash text on the main menu because of his political views namely his views on race realism and or QAnon if you're younger you probably don't know what either of those are but if you're older I recommend you look them up basically they're conspiracy theories or well it depends on how you look at it it could be real it could be a conspiracy theory um, it just depends on your view on it uh, I personally don't really believe in either of those but that's just my view other people have different opinions but basically those are what he expressed and microsoft wanted to distance themselves from it so we have a right here we got a microsoft excludes minecraft's creator from anniversary event over his comments and opinions this is uh, by the verge and uh we find that microsoft has also excluded Notch from their event, their 10-year anniversary event that they were going to host about the 10-year anniversary of Minecraft. And honestly, I understand where they're coming from here. They they basically don't want people to be exposed to these ideas that they don't really like. And, you know, people have very different opinions about this. And personally, I'm not going to give my total opinion about this, but I will show two different sides of it. Um, there's a lot of controversy about this. A lot of things are very controversial. Uh, people have very strong opinions one way or the other, generally, when it comes to this type of thing where you uh, a company or whatever deplatform someone due to their political opinion because that's essentially what this is i don't think most people are going to argue against that but basically let's read this right here microsoft says that comments and opinions from minecraft creator marcus person also known as notch have led the company to exclude him from an upcoming event celebrating the game's 10th anniversary microsoft told variety his comments and opinions do not reflect those of microsoft or mojang and are not representative of minecraft as microsoft has worked to make minecraft into a unit Universal family friendly game, person has been something of a thorn in its side. The game's creator is better known today as an online troll, peddling transphobic, sexist, and otherwise problematic language. He also recently endorsed the QAnon conspiracy theory, which is basically a conspiracy theory uh, about Trump. Not going to get into it once again. Um, but basically, they just deplatform him. They say he can't come to the event, which once again, people have very strong opinions about, um, but I can tell you that under current law, they are able to do this legally. They can do it. So it is, it is something that's possible. Obviously, you know, there's an argument that it's freedom of speech. They should be able to voice whatever opinion they want without the consequences or whatnot. But you also have another argument, like Minecraft is a kid's game. And, you know, based on the study I read, basically it shows that critical thinking ability does not fully develop until the person is around 20. As you can see right here, this is basically proof that they should probably keep some of these ideas away from children and there's a lot of children playing minecraft so i think that that's probably a good idea uh to do um anyway so uh let's keep reading this so distancing itself from pearson should have been an easy decision it also comes at a time when microsoft is trying to prove that it takes diversity and representation seriously microsoft ceo ceo sada nedella recently emailed staff saying that if they did not support building a more inclusive culture your rewards your tr career trajectory and possibly even your employment will be impacted at the same time microsoft has taken some flack from employees who believe it's more eager to talk about its pro-diversity stance than to take action the company was recently criticized for allowing anti-diversity messages to be posted on an internal message board anyway guys so basically this is the deal microsoft removed notch from the splash text for his opinions and they also are going to be barring him from an event even though he created the game so i want to know what you guys think about this do you guys think that they should have been able to do this or do you guys not think that they shouldn't have been able should have been able to do this i know that there's going to be probably some really heated debates in the comment section but uh yeah um i'll tell you my personal opinion um at the end of this basically uh, i i personally believe that because it's minecraft and because there's a lot of children around i don't think that there's anything wrong with them deplatforming Notch in this particular situation. However, generally, I am against companies or corporations being able to deplatform people due to their viewpoints. I unless they're uh, obviously like directly calling for violence or whatever. But that's my honest opinion. Um, hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys later. Now, let me know what you guys think. Comment down below. Bye bye.